Okay, uh, good day everyone, no? Uh today we are going to um, continue no about uh, the topic that you have discussed last meeting, no? This time we'll proceed na tayo sa solving quadratic equations by completing the square, no? Tat dalawa na kasi natapos natin eh. Excuse me. Square root method, no? Para lang yun sa difference of two binomial, I mean two squares. Yung uh, factoring and this time yung completing the square. So paano natin magagamit yung completing the square? Okay, solving quadratic equation by completing the square. Now not all the time, no, na yung uh, quadratic equation natin magagama so solve natin by factoring kasi there are times na na pag kinuha natin yung factors ng last term, no, yung list mismo ng factors niya, kahit anong add natin, subtract hindi siya magmamatch doon sa middle term. Okay? So that's why meron tayong another way of uh, solving na kung saan gumagamit tayo ng completing the square. So paano yung completing the square? I transpose the last term to the right of the equation, to the right side of the equation. Get the numerical coefficient of the second term. No? Divide the numerical coefficient of the second term by 2. Okay yan, no? Then get the square root of the square of the quotient of the numerical coefficient of the second term and 2. So yun yung mga steps natin. Add their square to both sides of the equation. Then simplify the left of the equation, the left side, no? By the square of two binomials and add or subtract the numbers at the right side. Then get the square root of both sides and transpose the last term from the from left to the right side of the equation to perform the indicated operation. So mahaba yung uh, uh, steps natin pagdating sa quadratic equation by completing the square. Example. x squared minus 4x minus 10 equal to 0. Okay? Now, pagka nag-isip ka ng factors ni negative 10, no? nag-list ka, sabi natin nag-list ka ng mga factors ni negative 10. Try natin si negative 10 times 1 no? or 10 times negative 1. 5 times negative 2 or negative 5 times 2. No? So, apat, lang, apat na pairs of, of factors lang yung meron kay negative 10. Okay. Now, so which of the uh, four pairs of factors no, na once i-add natin or subtract, lalabas si negative 4. Try natin si negative 10 and 1. Negative 10 plus 1, that is negative 9. Try naman natin si 10 minus 1 no? or 10 and negative 1. So, 10 minus 1 is 9, hindi rin pwede. Negative 5 and 2. No, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. E negative 4 to eh. No? The same story din kay uh, positive 5 and negative 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. So wala. So dito napapasok yung completing the square. No? Transpose negative 10 to the other side. Then we have x squared minus 4x equal to 10. No? Then next, ang gagawin natin, ang purpose natin dito sa dalawa, kukumplituhin natin sila as a perfect square trinomial. So, paano yun? O, kunin natin yung numerical coefficient na ito. We have 4. No? Then, divide it by 2, no? which is equal to 2, and then i-square natin after natin makuha yung quotient. 4 divided by 2 is 2, then the square of 2 is 4 ulit. No? Then, then tong 4 na to i-add natin to sa kada sides. No? x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 10 plus 4. Okay? This time, yung left side natin now is a perfect square trinomial na. Okay? So, eh, factor natin yan, no? Using the factoring of perfect square trinomial, x minus 2 square. Okay? Then, 10 plus 4 is 14. Next, since na-factor na natin sila, we will get the square root of both sides. Square root neto, square root din neto. Okay? So, isang quantity to, kaya cancel out natin yung exponent na to, tsaka yung radical sign, magiging x minus 2 na lang yan, equal to plus or minus the square root of 14, since 14 is not a perfect square. Okay? Then, transpose negative 2 to the other side, then we have x is equal to positive 2, plus or minus the square root of 14. Okay? Then, paghiwalayin natin, yung isa x equal to 2 plus square root of 2, of, of 14, sorry. Then the other one is x is equal to 2 minus the square root of 14. So ito yung dalawang roots niya. Okay? So nakakapag-form tayo ng complex number. No? 
in real number, ito yung tinatawag na complex number. Ay, no. Uh, sorry, hindi complex. Radical expression. No? Kasi pag complex, may imaginary line yun. No? May imaginary number. Ito tinatawag na uh, radical. No? May, kasi nga may, may radical sign tayo. Next, 3x squared plus 4x minus 7 equal to 0. Okay. So, ganun din. No? Apply natin yung uh, completing the square. Although yung completing the square, applicable siya sa lahat ng quadratic trinomials. No? <clears throat> okay. Now, here. No? Transpose negative 7. So, may giging 7 yan. No? And then, div, uh, factor out natin yung 3. No? Dito sa side na to. Kaya ito. Meron dito na. Factor out natin. So, we have x squared plus 4 over by 3x. No? Yan. Or pwede natin i-divide siya by 3. Itong dalawang to. Kaya maging 4 thirds x yan. Then, okay, divide 4 thirds by 2. Then, get the square root after uh, you get the quotient. No? 4 thirds divided by 2. That is 2 thirds. No? Because 4 divided... Am I right? Okay. No, okay, no. So 2 thirds, no. Then get the square the square of 2 thirds na pa naging uh, 2 thirds to sir. Okay, 4 thirds divided by 2, get the reciprocal of 2. We have 1 half, no. We have 1 half here. Cancel out yung 4 and 2. No, magiging 2 to. Dito naman magiging 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 1 is 3. That's why we have 2 thirds here. Get the square, then we have 4 over by 9 na. Yung 4 over by 9, i-add natin dito. No? So, maiging uh, 3x squared plus 4 thirds x plus 4 over by 9 is equal to 7 plus 4 over by 3. Okay? Bakit naging 3? No? Kasi tinanggal natin si x, I mean si 3 dito, kaya naging 4 thirds siya. Okay? Then, since perfect square na to, no, maiging x plus 2 thirds squared na siya plus 7 thirds plus 4 over by 9. Eh, sorry. So, tama. Sorry. This one, i-correct ko. No, nalito rin ako. Four thirds. No? Kasi tulad ng sabi ko, kung ano yung ina dito, ganun din dito. No? So, magiging nine to. Okay. Nga. Yan, no? Now, dito, nagkaroon tayo ng uh, 3, no? Kaya, uh, wait lang. I forgot to explain this one, eh. Yan. Parang tama kanina, eh. Ayun na. So, tama yung kanina ko. No, dapat this one is 3. Okay. So, di ko na iyo. No? Ah, ito. Uh, here, no? since may 3 ito, no? i-divide natin siya dito sa right side. No? 7 plus 4 thirds. That's why magiging 7 thirds to and then itong 4 thirds magiging 4 over by 9. Okay. Kasi natanggal siya dito. Para matanggal si 3, i-divide natin both sides by one thirds. So, na dito makakancel out si 3. Now, after makancel out si 3, no, if a factor natin tong x squared plus 4 thirds x plus 4 over by 9, since perfect square trinomial siya, then we have x, x plus 2 thirds squared is equal to okay, 7 over by 3 plus 4 over by 9. Okay, addition of the similar fraction, no, LCD, get the LCD, we have here 9, then uh, 9 divided by 3 is 3. I mean, 20, yes, yes. Now, 9 divided by 3 is 3 times 7 is 21 plus 4. We have 25. Okay. The next. Ito tayo dito. Sa current slide na to. Okay. Yan. No? So, ito yung ginawa natin kanina. No? Ilagay ko lang dito para ano, may guide tayo. Now. We have x plus 2 thirds squared is equal to 25 over by 9. No? Get the square root of both sides. No? We have x plus 2 thirds na lang yan equal to 
the square root of 29, I mean 25, we have 5, the square root of 9 is 3. So we have positive or negative 5 thirds. Then transpose 2 thirds to the other side. Then we have x, no? Plus, uh, you know, x equal to negative 2 thirds plus or minus 5 thirds. Okay, simplify natin. Nahin natin yung uh, x equal to negative 2 thirds plus 5 thirds. That is equal to 3 over by 3 or 1. No, paano naging 3 over by 3? O negative 2 plus 5. Magkaiba yung sign. So, so subtract natin. May gin 3. Copy yung common denominator which is 3. So dito 1. Okay. Next. X equal to negative 2 thirds minus 5 thirds na. No, parehas yung sign. Negative 2 minus uh, 5 is negative 7 thirds. No? So yan ang magiging uh, val, uh, roots no? for the equation. Okay, so medyo mahaba sa completing the square, no? Okay, exercise, find the roots of the following equations by completing the square, no? So for number one, x squared minus 4x minus 8 equal to 0. Okay, so again, transpose negative 8, no? Magiging uh, x squared minus 4x equal to 8. Then get, I mean, divide 4 by 2, then get the square of 2. No? So magiging 4 yan. x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 8 plus 4 which is 12, factor natin yung left side, then we have here, na makukuha natin itong sagot. No? X equal to 2 plus the square root of 12, and X equal to 2 minus square root of 12. Next, for number 2, o oh, ito naman, ulit, may radical. Okay, X equal to 1 plus the square root of 5, and X equal to 1 minus square root of 5. So, apply lang natin yung completing the square. Medyo mahaba kasi, balikan nyo na lang yung diniscuss ko doon. Okay? The same goes sa number 3, no? Pero dito sa number 3, natanggalan natin siya ng radical sign, no? That's why we have x equal to 1 thirds and x equal to 1 for the roots of this equation. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you for listening. Again, do not forget to answer the exercises, no? Okay, that's it for today. Okay. Thank you and goodbye.